What the hell happened? Part seven. In the last part, I talked about early marriage years. I talked about coming back to religion and losing my job. So I ended up losing my job. It wasn't on a strict timetable. I unsuccessfully tried to get jobs elsewhere, even though I had nine years of construction work history. I just wasn't successful. Um, so ended up somebody I was going to church with. He had a construction company. It was just him and another subcontractor, essentially, and he brought me on as a second subcontractor. Got my license, got my insurance, and went out to start doing work. And it was pretty cool. It, I worked with him, alongside of him, quite a bit. I had nine years construction experience again at this point, so a lot of the stuff came right to me. I learned a ton from him. He predominantly did doors and windows. We did do some renovations, some additions, some things like that that was really cool to get into. Um, just ended up learning a lot, but I didn't always have 40 hours a week. Um, other times it was really busy, and this is where my marriage with Delilah started falling apart. Um, I'm sure it started falling apart a while ago, and yeah, again, I'm sure like there's all kinds of fault lying on my part because I don't think a relationship can ever really fall apart unless both parties kind of allow it to happen. Um, yeah, you just, I just didn't notice any issues or warning signs, but basically I'm getting into this new job. It's highly stressful. There's a lot more paperwork involved. Um, and so it started out kind of part-time-ish and we got into a really busy season. I got slammed with work and he was sending me out on jobs on my own, um, just small jobs, doors, windows, one to two day jobs. I would go out, take care of it. Um, ended up, as this was going on, I ended up selling my Mustang that I had for many years and buying a work truck, a black truck. You guys have seen it here on the property. I haven't driven it much at all recently, but that was my, my work truck. Um, I sold my really cool Mustang to do it, but you know, income made sense. Um, shifting gears back over to my marriage, things are really kind of going okay. We're kind of distant. I struggle like everything to get her to keep a job, have a job, bring in revenue because I'm struggling to make the ends meet on all of it. We were dead broke almost all the time, like living paycheck to paycheck. Neither of us had really much of any credit. Um, we ended up just after the housing crash of, I guess it was 08. Um, the prices fell, but all the regulations hadn't caught up yet. So you could still buy a house with almost 0% down. Meanwhile, my rent kept going up, ended up realizing that I can own a house for less than my rent payment. So bought a house. Um, it was a project house. It needed, it needed a lot of help. 10th of an acre, um, over a hundred years old, knob and tube wiring, all kinds of issues. Um, and so we start renovating this house and she changes jobs from, I find it hard to believe she had a fast food job that long, which she probably did. Um, the church we were going to had a daycare. So she switched over and worked as a helper in this daycare. And that seemed to be going all right. She had some trauma issues at work and stuff. So it was kind of going all right, but it wasn't really. Um, I kept working on doing my own business and this house that we got, I'm renovating it because it's got issues. I'm moving walls, I'm, you know, tearing off drywall, which is horsehair, plaster, and lath, finding all this wiring that's not right, have to replace all of it. So I'm slowly working on that in the evenings. And yeah, Delilah's just sitting there on her computer. She's like, she's, she's just not a very motivated person. Like, I wasn't really either when we got married at a young age. And I started you know, getting more sense of responsibility, wanting to get somewhere in life, wanting to, yeah, accelerate. And 
make more money. <laughs> um, so I'm pushing really hard. I'm starting to bid my own jobs on the side, which isn't really on the side because I wasn't truly an employee. Um, I'm bidding my own jobs. I'm working on this house at night and we get a group of friends. Um, basically almost kind of like a, a reenactment kind of group. Not really. We really just went on hikes and hung out and we just got this, had this group of friends. Um, so we just hung out with them. We had a similar interest. Um, just whatever, having fun. She loved to go do stuff with them. I did too, but I was so busy with everything else going on that I just didn't go all the time. And because I changed to somebody who's way more driven, way more motivated, working all the time, and she didn't, we ended up with some kind of discrepancy in how we viewed life, I guess. Um, anyway, for the most part, everything's going good. She's hanging out with this group of friends a lot more, and I'm totally good with it. Like, that's cool. Like, it gives her something to do while I'm doing my thing. Um, yeah, she works a full-time job. She's helping pay the bills. It's, it's working out great. Um, I'm struggling to make money because I keep having to buy tools to keep the whole business going and growing and expanding. And I'm getting into this whole business mindset. And she's just, you know, having this fun social life mindset, which used to be my mindset, more or less. Again, I'm an introvert, so kind of. Um, yeah. Anyway, eventually it gets to the point where we just don't really talk anymore. We don't communicate much anymore. Like, nothing seems to be going bad, but nothing seems to be going good either. Um, and we just do less and less stuff together. And one of these times we all went on a group hike with this whole new group of people. And she was just downright nasty to me. Like, just putting me down. And I had no idea where it all, where it all was coming from. And... I noticed more and more as we were at home, she was just on her phone, which whatever, but like she's on her phone differently. She's not saying, oh, check out this cool thing or, or this or that. She's just smiling and, and just really happy. And she never says a word to me, never, you know, I ask her what's up or anything. And she's like, yeah, nothing, whatever. She's just, whatever. I just get funny vibes from this whole thing. Um, and eventually I want to know what in the world is she doing on her phone that she finds so fascinating that she doesn't share with me. And I go into her phone and I discover a whole nother social life. But yeah, um, actually the first, the first thing I discovered was a email and chat history from some guy she just met at a hotel um, that very day when she said she was at work, but obviously she got time off and she wasn't at work. She was at the hotel with this guy and I had the whole whole message history. I don't remember if she was sleeping or, or what the deal was, how I got her phone, but I just wanted to see what was up. And that was not what I was expecting at all. Um, and so I think about a day goes by or something. I was just in shock. Like I didn't get it or understand it. And the next day I just confronted her about it. Like, look, I went through your phone. I found this whole conversation and she didn't really deny any of it. She just got very, I don't know, guilty looking, like, I don't know, like, I'm all upset about it. I'm like, what is this? And she's like, well, we don't do anything together anymore. And I'm like, well, I'm busy. Like, I'm trying to keep our life going. I'm trying to renovate this house. I'm trying to start a business. I'm trying to expand. Like, I've got all this, all this stuff. And then she's eventually like, well, I thought you were cheating on me. And... I'm like, when would I have time to do that? Um, <laughs> no, um, no. Really, I'm just in shock about the whole thing and never saw it coming and wasn't really sure what I did wrong or what I was doing wrong and how I should have been better. Like, I was just, I totally remember the state of complete confusion. And I thought that, all right, you know, well, we can, you know, She's totally sorry, like, I'm supposed to forgive her, like, all this stuff's going through my mind, and I'm like, this is it, right? Absolutely no more, like, this is the only time, and I'm just a day late in catching it, and yes, 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 you know, that's, that's it. And then, 